All righty, folks, this is our weekly hub call. This is where we talk about things that are happening in our business. What we're going to talk about today is looking at deals together. We're going to talk about California policies being canceled left, right, and center. And we're going to talk about the mortgage market, which has been ripping the last 48 hours. Let's welcome, in order if they showed up, let's welcome Ty. How you doing, buddy? Doing awesome, man. Great to be here. Feeling productive. I'm looking forward to two weeks, less than two weeks, to be less with you live, weeks. President's Day weekend in Vegas. So looking forward to the live event. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. I am I am getting more and more excited day by day. I've actually traveled to Vegas, so I'm now here. I'm going to go to the site a couple more times to make sure we're ready to rock. And uh, yeah, it's right around the corner. So uh, Ty, we look forward to you speaking. Uh, Elaine, actually, we're going to skip over Elaine because she's going to be featured here big time. But we'll go to uh, Matt real quick. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing good besides a bunch of red and in, in uh, mortgage-backed securities uh, doing <laughs> I'm happy and healthy. Yeah. Looks like mortgage rates. I don't know if it'll happen because uh, I did see the 10 year bond is spiking today. We, we might see mortgage rates in the high sixes. Uh, if it gets much worse, maybe low sevens is possible, right? Yeah, for sure. And again, you know, when you see the 30 year average at 6.92, that's yeah. not for most people. You got a 715 credit score. You got any sort of, yeah. you know, hair on your deal. Um, you are going to have a seven unless you're paying points up front. So um, yeah. 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 The other thing to realize is a lot of folks are like, hey, housing's going to crash now. We got to remember that a lot of people that are shopping today actually have rate locks, right? So talk about a rate lock, Matt, what that means and how long they have to shop, put it in contract, because it, it doesn't just change overnight. Right. Yeah. I think that's where people are like, hey, if I'm going to be in a escrow for 30 days and I'm in contract today, like what about rate volatility? Generally speaking, the way it works for most people is you get into contract you immediately submit a loan and lock a rate. Any mortgage broker, mortgage advisor who's you know doing it right, in my opinion, is not gambling with right. your interest rate and your payment and and floating. So um, once you've got a contract, you've submitted and you're locked, you're you're set. The market can do whatever it wants to do. The problem right. becomes if you're out there shopping for a house and you're you're looking at rates twice a month and right. The last time you looked, there might have been a little dip and you were looking at six and a quarter. And now we say, no, nah, it's actually six, six, two, five. Um, so it, it rates change, change every single day. That's what people yeah. forget. Yeah. Rates change every day. If you like it, lock, it's been our mantra for a while. Work with a professional that can tell you the options. Uh, great, great mortgage broker dot com is the place to be. Pat, how you doing, Patrick? I'm well, guys. How are you? Long time to see. Yeah, long time no see. Why don't you do me a quick rundown of what's going on in the Fresno uh, MLS, the Fresno market? Has the spring yeah. selling season picked up? Has it started? What's going on? It's slowly starting to creak. It's not It's not in full motion, obviously. Um, okay. But I have a few little stats for you. The median sold price in December uh, was three ninety nine, so right around 400 k The median active price is right at 446 Oh. And uh, we have about two and a half months of inventory um, if everything were to have remained the same. So, um, okay. you know, it's not a full swing, but we're getting yep. a little bit warmed up. One last question for you, Patrick. Are we still seeing, at least in Fresno, where north of 400 is stacking up what I call the luxury market, where it's still really hard to get an affordable home below 400? Or uh, has that changed? No, that's that's pretty much pretty much accurate. Um Sorry, my son just walked in here. But uh, okay. no, yeah, every, pretty much the same. Um, and uh, yeah, if I have any other updates, I'll let you know. Okay, very cool. All right. All right, Elaine, you are up. So Elaine, if you guys don't know, she is. Uh, in, she works for an insurance broker. She's a part of the hub. I think it was four or five months ago, I had a cancellation on a fourplex, which she went out and helped me source new insurance for. I'm hearing from more and more people, Elaine, saying my policy is getting canceled. And lo and behold, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, I had another cancellation, this time on a duplex. So uh, once again, you are helping me get some new insurance. But what's going on with California insurers? What I've been doing this 20 years. I think before this year, before the last 12 months, I had one policy canceled in 20 years. And now in the last six months, I've had two. What the heck? Yeah, uh, most of it is is um, just the weather that is the floods, the fires. It is affecting uh, the market. Um, it's affecting. Elaine, Elaine, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Like if you're in coarse gold or you're up in the hills and you're surrounded by hundreds of acres of just brass, which turns into kindling, I get it. But I'm in freaking Fresno, California, a million people. There's not a freaking tender box within 100 miles or 50 <laughs> miles. Why the hell am I being penalized? Because reinsurance companies, they're uh, managed by just a small group of insurance companies, and um, they're global. So anything that's happening in the United States is affecting these reinsurance rates. And so therefore, it's affecting the insurance companies. Those rates this last year have gone up 30 to 50 percent. And in California, because of Prop 103, the reinsurance rates aren't the insurance companies cannot put that on to the consumer. So they're having to eat that cost. And like I said before, uh, insurance companies are, it's just not profitable in California, wherever you are. So let me, let me just see if I can repeat that. So for the two decades of my investing career, uh, what was it? Prop what? 130? 103. Oh, 103. Sorry. Dyslexia got me again. So prop 103, um, for 20 years, allowed uh, insurance companies or reinsurance companies to pass through the appropriate cost because it was within the uh, allowable amount. There was probably some sure. allowable amount, right? So, hey, it's yeah. going to go up 2%, you know, whatever. And that's fair, right? My insurance right. policies went up every year, but by seven bucks, by 12 bucks, by 57 50, bucks, maybe yeah. mm-hmm. one time. Like, so no big deal. Then we come into last year and I notice kind of a, disproportionate jump. But what you're telling me is they took it to the max given 103 and they had to eat the difference. And now what you're telling me is they can't do that anymore. It's unprofitable since they can't pass it on. Their only other choice is to leave California. Is that, is that what's happening? Well, reinsurance companies have raised their rates 30 to 50%. Right. California though has prop 103 that makes it so that California Some insurance limit. companies cannot that that 30 50% that they're having to eat California insurance companies cannot allow there's no Legally. there's no way for it to affect the insurance premiums to the consumer okay. um it is it is supposed to be helpful to the consumer um but it's it's affecting everything it's we're ha- we're seeing a lot of real estate purchases that are collapsing because the the insurance either they either can't find insurance or yeah. um and the rates for California Fair Plan are up fifty percent. Yeah, I think this is what a lot of people need to realize. This is this this is getting so bad. I've had at least a dozen people reach out to me, mainly in Southern California, uh, mm-hmm. where they've actually had purchases blow up because of insurance. Yes. I've right? seen they're it. buying a they buying a house on the hill, great view, yes. blah blah blah. They budgeted four or five grand, maybe seven grand. They got a quote back for twenty seven grand. Or just, right. or they couldn't get a quote, right? So, and and California Fair being you know the last resort for insurance is up fifty percent. So where you would have paid a fifteen hundred dollar premium last year is going to be forty five hundred, forty eight hundred, five thousand. <laughs> so is, is there any hope on the horizon? Is anybody looking? There is some hope, and something? that's what the California commissioner was talking about uh, recently is that they're trying to implement um, that insurance companies in California can use catastrophe modeling. And, um, but that's not going to help us until the end of this year. Oh, so, so if you have insurance, Paul, if you're dropped. Yeah. All right. So let's play this out. So again, you helped me on a fourplex. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think it's uh, unreasonable to say my quote that was dropped was 50, 60% lower. So it went up, but now I have coverage. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, let's say I, we, we fast forward a year and this is undone. Do you imagine we can requote and rates will go down? Or do you think once they're done, they're done? Oh, no. I think that we are. That's why the California Department of Insurance is trying to uh, implement this catastrophe modeling so that there isn't another exodus. Uh, so what's happening in Florida doesn't happen here. Right. Um, because they don't want these companies leaving, you know, um, yeah, really because people aren't even having essential insurance for their ho- their own home, let alone rental properties. So um, I I don't see that, especially with the, the market. I don't see that it'll be 
um, as much as the last resort, which is the California Fair Plan, mm -hmm. I don't see that it'll be a 50% increase like we're seeing right now. I think mm -hmm. it'll go down. And mm -hmm. I think more, co because there will be more um, competition. Competition, yes. Yeah, right now, it's a monopoly. There's like three or four companies that are writing. And if yeah. if it's not them, then it's California Fair. And you okay. also have to remember with California Fair, when that's your last resort, is you also have to have a DIC, which is a difference in conditions policy that covers everything else, um, huh. including your liability. It, California oh. um, Fair Plan does not cover liability. It insures property only. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. All right, folks, if you are like me and you've had a policy canceled, <laughs> Elaine, we're going to do this a couple of times. What number should they reach out to? 559-696-9196. Uh, um, another thing that I was going to mention, it doesn't matter. I've had, I talked to a couple of your clients this weekend. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, though, is that please, please be patient with the amount of time it takes um, to get a quote. Yeah. Um, because there's certain underwriting um, review periods. They want photos, very specific ones. Um, and um, so be patient with the amount of time it does take to get a quote. Yeah. On that end, uh, just to give them a level set, we have a property, I'll just call it G Street. You're helping us get a quote on that. What, what's the timeline look? I think I brought this to you last Wednesday, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, then I got you in contact with my PM because there's some data that we yes. need to kind of double check. And so we're probably what, a week or 10 days out from getting probably. an estimate? Yeah, seven yeah. to 10 so, days. Yeah, so there's a timeline just to give everybody kind of some insight. All right, Elaine, you've got a lot of folks that need to reach out. 559-696-9196. If you've been canceled, reach out. If you are in contract, reach out. You need options, folks. You need options. Let's go around the horn one more time. Ty, something you and I want to do. Uh, in 2024 is look at a lot more deals. So if people have opportunities where actually, you know what, where should people reach out to you to look at opportunities, see what's going on? Uh, you know, just, just to see what's what I, you know what? And I want to say that right now is such a great opportunity because the market is still weird. There's still a lot of yeah. uncertainty. Um, you know, going back to something Michael said a long time ago, the housing market is still very broken. <laughs> so what does that mean? Right. It, it means there's a lot of uncertainty and where the opportunities are right now, burned out landlords, probate, estates, trusts, inherited properties, order properties, abandoned, vacant properties. Somebody's owned it for a long time, but it's just empty because they don't want to deal with it. That I That's where the categories where I see the opportunities. People can email uh, ty at tylg.com, ty at tylg.com. And even for Michael's deal flow in Fresno, California, the greater Fresno market, as well as in the Bay Area, uh, greater Stockton, San Joaquin County, as well as Sacramento, we are actively looking, scrubbing, and working with wholesalers, new investors, one rental at a time community, helping them to get either A, their first deal, their next deal, um, and or even if you have deal flow, we would love to yep. be in that flow and help you get yep. paid, so... Yep. If you have a deal, you're not sure it's a deal. It doesn't hurt. Ty at tylg.com. He is there for you. He's a big part of the channel. Ty, we appreciate you, buddy. Matt, you got a lot going on. Like it, lock it. Some advice you've been given for quite a while. Uh, rates are all over the place. If somebody wanted to reach out and see their scenario, what are we doing? Greatmortgagebroker.com. That's the best place to get started with my team. We're licensed in 48 states. I just want to double down on what Ty said. Um, you know, there's uncertainty. And, and with uncertainty comes fear and all that other stuff. But, uh, you know, the great Warren Buffett, be greedy when others are fearful, when others are afraid to take action because it's a little bit volatile and, and they're not sure what's going to happen. Um, that's when you're going to go in there and, and find great deals. So one rental at a time communities doing the work. I'm certain they're going to find deals um, and um, getting yourself educated is the best way to push through fear. So know what you're doing and it becomes a little less scary. Greatmortgagebroker.com. Awesome. Hey, Patrick. Michael, are there oh, any yeah. virtual tickets I think we yeah. need to promote and talk about? Because I know there's a cap. I know that you have a certain amount of availability. Yep. We're basically a week yep. and a half away. So how do yeah, people buy you. a virtual ticket? Yeah, so put a link below. Uh, you go to my event, Bright by virtual ticket, 99 bucks. I am capping it at 100. We're about 30 or so, maybe 28 folks away from that. So it will sell out. Uh, but yeah, get it. You'll get the video after. 
it'll be cheaper now versus later, all that good stuff. So yeah, thank you for that. Both Ty and Matt will be there speaking. Uh, Patrick, uh, one of the things that we haven't talked a lot about recently is I'd still love to get a, you know an FHA buyer in the Central Valley, somebody that's maybe uh, the California Dream Act is is back. You know, there's there's lots of stories. I'd love to get somebody in in the Central Valley working with you so we could document the story uh, about how we help them be a homeowner. So how would they reach out to you? Yeah, sure. Just uh, give me a text or a call at 825-7559. That's 559-825-7559. There you go. And Elaine, lots of people having policies canceled. Lots of people need a broker like you so they can get a backup plan just in case. What's the number? It's 559-696-9196. I'm glad you came back to me, Michael. One more thing I wanted to mention is don't let your policies cancel. You can still get quotes. You can still call and help and let us work on a quote as soon as you get your renewal. But I had a client um, of ours call uh, after he let his policy lapse mm -hmm. because he was so upset that there was a $500 increase. 500, that's it. And yeah. I'm like, there. these things are doubling. Yeah. And so now he's looking at a double rate. And yeah. so don't let your policies cancel. You can still get some quotes. Just yep. don't let them cancel. Absolutely, Elaine. Thank you very much. 559-696-9196. Text her today. And again, remember the timeline. She'll communicate. She'll follow up. She's amazing. She's helping me. Placed one. She'll be placing another. Amazing. Thanks, guys. That is the Hub Call. Take care. Bye. Bye.